Hmm. Well, the interesting thing about no Yomiyuki Hadoi no no to the is that he no seems to have settled. It's, it's very much a Goldilocks okay. success story Sink. here. Okay. Hmm. He started out becoming... He wanted to become a, a sumo wrestler, but was deemed too small to be a sumo wrestler. So he decided to become a competitive leader. Very popular uh, fad in Japan, very top popular competition. Was deemed to be too fat to do that, as you know, most of the successful competitive leaders are actually very lean and skinny. So, was kind of stuck in the middle, too fat to be a, an eater. Too skinny to be a sumo wrestler. He found fighting. Kind of satisfied that hunger, that craving for competition. Oh, craving for that, okay. And he is, of course, and I'm sure, understanding the cravings can, of course. Yeah, for other CO things, yeah. Yes, of course, is the case, but Luke, but, uh, Nobuyuki Hidoi started out in Kumite with a TKO win in under four minutes of only Ander Olsen. And very much a David Goliath battle. The height difference in that fight was absolutely enormous. And Hidoi was able to get the surprise win. He then went to a decision and defeated John Joe Winchester in the quarterfinals. That brings him here. Plansman. A very unlikely story, but it's a wonderful success story so yeah, far. Totally. And we expect to be a lot more, see a lot more of Nobuyuki Hidoi as long as he continues to uh, impress and to entertain this Japanese crowd. They seem to love him. He's a hometown boy. Yeah, a lot of a. Uh... Again, Not too many Japanese in Kumite, even though we're, we're over here. Well, a very global, very global organization. And that will continue to be the case. But of course, uh, Hidoi, one of two Japanese competitors in the heavyweight Kumite. Lucas Galingas, of course, scored the knockout in the first round over the other Japanese competitor. Hiro Hiro Takahaka Hida. Very surprising. That indeed, but... Because the former, the uh, the current they Super they Japan they Wrestling Deathmatch Wrestler, yeah, yeah, and of course he is. Uh, that was a very surprising knockout win. Not many were expecting that. Everyone was taken by surprise by uh, that one. I'll agree with that. Me especially. Yes, and of course, yes, and a nothing uh, Ken enjoys more than a good surprise session. Uh, uh, waking up. What's this? And of course. Oh, goodness. Honda Elantra nearly oh, got Jesus. Jets right there. He got... Was right uh, in the mix there. Needs to watch Lucas out. Lucas Kalingas throwing a big right hand and nearly grazed the door and went right into Elantra. Yeah. That would... One of the security might have shot him for that. Who knows? Very true. Our armed guards. Our, our what? Our sat at ringside. Armed guards. Okay. And of course, Lucas Kalingas had his second round victory over Curtis Prancer via TKO. So again, very heavy hands. And Lucas Galingas Hidoi, of course, went to decision with John Joe Winchester in a very exciting battle when all 15 minutes. That, of course, happened at Kubite 4 in April. But they are not absorbing as much damage from striking, but they are wearing each other down with a bit of clinch work and some wrestling. That could be equally as exhausting. These two are very, very compact, shorter, shorter mm -hmm. competitors. But well, they've got a lot of weight behind them and a lot of power behind them, so... Let him see the uppercut. You understand, the clinch game is basically stand-up wrestling as opposed to uh, wrestling lying down. As Ken Tamakiri might be more familiar with three minutes to go in this round. Big kick by Galingas working southpaw at the moment. Right foot in front. Oh, a nice big right hand by Hadoi. These two really sizing each other up. No one being too, doing anything too rash. Very, very good about energy conservation. It's important. You know, you got Roger Maz waiting for you in the main event for the Kubite Heavyweight Championship. He's for a kangaroo. Who knows how well stamina is? That's true. It's a, it's a great unknown. We don't know. I don't think anyone's really done their studying on anyone who's been part kangaroo. He's technically, even a human at this point. Oh, part of him is. Does he have one of those weird dog penises, you know, where it looks like a tool lipstick? Does he have one of those? Like... <clears throat> that I'm not certain. Oh, big right hand by Hidoi! Misses the uppercut, just gets out of the way, does Galingas. Oh, big oh. right hand! Oh! Hidoi out of nowhere! Oh. And Galingas! Oh. Lucas Galingas! Oh. Drops like an Atlas oh. Stone! Oh, man. And Nobuyuki 
you here die. Shut yeah, you shut off that right uh. hand. That's what's getting in your paycheck, uh. young man. And Tamakiri has already reaching for a new set of trousers. That looked like a TKO at first, but yeah, he was he was out. Well, the right hand is what did the damage. The left hand came in, and Hyundai Elantra saw that immediately and pulled Nobuyuki Hidoi right off him. But wasn't your well, Lucas Galingas? Wasn't your typical? Well, go to the pile. Geez, wasn't your typical knockout though? He kind of slumped over. It wasn't like a big forceful, like, boom, you're out. He kind of slumped. Well, I, very, very good, very astute point there. The Galingas just kind of crumpled in a heap, it seemed. That didn't even just kind of fall over. He just kind of crumpled. But Speaking of heaps, let's just gives you an idea. throw him on here. Put him on the pile. 